That is still really hot. Burnt my whole existence. I burnt my future. That's why I stopped. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That chocolate vegan with me, Aaron Wells. And you read that title correctly. This is vegan soul food egg rolls. Better known as soul rolls. Let's get started. So I got some uh, mustard greens. We're gonna use these for our soul rolls. So right now it's just some water in my pot. I'm just cooking them down. No seasoning yet at all. This is my first time working with mustard greens. So this is gonna be a learning experience for me as well. But after these cook down, I will come back and we'll start uh, seasoning these bad boys. So we shall see. Uh, just in case I was not recording that, uh, we have added some not chicken bouillon and then we added garlic and onion powder and I just added some paprika. Where's that? You know what paprika looks like. I did not measure, I just sprinkled around. But clearly I wasn't recording. Great. So I'm gonna cut up uh, two shallots to put in our mustard greens. Again, I've never cooked with these before, so I'm just making up a recipe. Um, and then let's do some of our crushed garlic as well. So about a tablespoon of our crushed garlic um, and two shallots going in the mustard greens. Okay, so we're adding in those shallots and this garlic, and then I added in a little bit of liquid smoke, just to give it like a smoky taste. I realized that I was out of liquid smoke, so I used my big jar, but still just a few drops, y'all. A little, a little bit goes a long way. Then I forgot to record me adding salt and pepper, but y'all know I didn't forget no salt and pepper now. Bam! We're gonna zap these bad boys. We're gonna zap these bad boys in the microwave. They might not have enough sugar in them because since they're organic and rah, 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 we can always add more sugar if, if you know if need be. But I'm not making no yams, so we just the stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right, for our chicken, we're gonna be using oyster mushrooms. And for anybody new, I do not use the water in my RV because I just think it's gross. So using a gallon of water to wash out the mushrooms. Then I'm gonna use in my wet batter some almond milk, flour, and Chef Joya's poultry seasoning. You can use regular poultry seasoning. And in my dry mixture, I'm gonna use Chef Joya again. <laughs> hey, she sent me seasoning, I'm gonna use it. We're gonna use her It's Just Magic seasoning. You can use your favorite all-purpose seasoning, or usually I use garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. A little paprika, so into the wet, into the dry. Feel free to double coat, but I wasn't concerned about a double crunch since this is also going in a egg roll wrapper. Oh shoot, my camera got low battery, y'all, but let's go ahead and taste these uh, yams. I'm gonna put them in the microwave. Let's see what they are fresh out the can. Oyster mushrooms are still frying. Y'all know my little stove top heater be slow. So I'm debating on whether I'll make the gravy in here in my mom's uh, house. But okay, let's taste this real quick. They're really not bad, but they're not diabetical, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna add some more sugar. I'll go ahead and heat them up now. And I'll add some more sugar um, afterwards. But they're, they're good to me, but they're not, you know how people like them, you know. I'm just gonna sprinkle some brown sugar in here. This is about a fourth a cup of brown sugar. Again, optional. If I was just making it for me, I wouldn't add it. But I think it's definitely needed. And really, that's just, that's done. I mean, mix it, I'm gonna mix it in. And it's done, it's canned. It's canned. Bam, all right. <laughs> Okay, so I'm inside my mom's house. We're gonna make a quick gravy. So it's got some butter in the pan. We're just gonna add, we're gonna make a roux with the flour. Um, we're gonna put in some. Oh, I'm working with one hand. Working with one hand. Gonna put in some garlic. Let me show you guys. Bam! I'm not gonna drop that in first. Let's do the roux first. A little bit more butter. That was just one spoonful, aka one tablespoon. Put in more butter first. Get some flour to make this roux. Let's do this. And yes, I know I'm using the wrong spoon, y'all. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't like being late. Okay. A little bit more. All right. We're going to put this garlic in. Boom. And I'm using, oh, mushroom base. I didn't even notice what I was using. Thought I had the veggie base. So mushroom base veggie bouillon. You don't need that much of this stuff. It's probably too much, but we'll make up for it. Put that down in there. Now I'm gonna add some water. All right, the roux is made. I'm going to cut this off. I'm gonna add some browning for brown color. 
spoon. Maybe some salt. Not too much. Some pepper, because they go together. <laughs> and do. Okay. Oh, I made it a little too salty. Oh, now I made it too salty. All right, let's add some more water and we should be good. Okay. Okay, let's taste again. We gotta start frying so the oil does not burn. Another taste test. Much better. Still a little salty, but much better. All right, we gotta start frying. Hopefully the camera's charged up a little bit. Let's do this. All right, we're ready, y'all. We got our vegan egg roll wraps. I got the mac and cheese out of the oven, chicken, our greens, and our yams. So let's start assembling. Let me get y'all in a better position here. Okay. Let's do greens, mac and cheese, yams. Let me split this in half and then one chicken should be good right <laughs> but I'm gonna kind of squish it a little bit so it's you know I'm about to say biteable that is not a word it's not a word that might be still too much all right all right and let's tuck tight tuck and roll tuck and roll put a little water on here so we can seal it tuck and roll you know the first one's always our throwaway all right so again we got Greens, some yam, some mac and cheese, and some of that chicken. This is way too much air. You're gonna put some water along these edges. Okay. Should have really let this mac and cheese cool down a little bit more. I think that's why it keeps busting open. It's so hot. All right, so we're gonna just wrap it like a little baby, and then we're gonna tuck tight. Okay, that simple. I was making it hard. <laughs> All right, so my guest just texted me. He's gonna be forty minutes late. Um, after he's supposed to be here one of my pet peeves but it's all right we love them we love them um so i'm gonna go ahead and try the two ugly ones that we first did right here okay let's try it without the dipping sauce first that is still really hot okay i've never had a soul roll before I heard of them. This is so good. This is a whole meal in an egg roll. It looks ugly. Yo. This can only get even better. This is so good. Wow. It's so, it's so, it's so flat. Uh, everything in an egg roll. So roll. This is so good. Mm. Honestly, the only thing missing is hot sauce. Would that be too urban? <laughs> Would it be too urban? Mm. It's my food. Maybe I put hot sauce in the gravy. Because huh. I can't. One more time. I gotta do it. One more time. Hey, bring his mouth, y'all. I'd rather burn my mouth. <laughs> 
That shit too good. It's so good. I'd rather sacrifice my taste buds for two days. I promise. It only take two days for the taste buds to hear anyway. So really? liquid. When you burn your mouth? It's a liquid area. It's As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.